hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to show you how to create sap calendar factory calendar the t code is scal this is a transport right here if you go to the t codes you have three objects sub objects first one public holidays holiday calendar and factory calendar so first you need to define the holidays as an example as you march 4th is the mahashivara 3 day and may 1st is the may day labor day you know and august 12 is hajji festival day first i need to define these holidays if the holiday is already defined you don't need to define it again okay i'll create new and this here you have different type of public holidays with fixed date I will select that one create and normally May day is a fixed date right so day is first and month is fifth May day okay give the sort criteria this is the rip this is for reporting purpose and the religious determination denominations you can select the category of that one and give the short name may day okay may day and i'll press create okay that one done now let's say the first one mashura 3d I'll this time I'll use the different type. Let's say with a fix day from date or oh, floating public holiday. Floating in the sense each year it will be different. It means this year August fifth, next year August sixth, likewise. I give the sort of criteria and the short names and I define year twenty nineteen the my holiday is march 4th okay in 20 let's say 2020 march 7 2021 it's same way it's march 10 okay i'll insert that one you i think you got the idea right what the floating holiday is okay let's say the third one i'll define as okay may day one day five okay i'll give the name Hg festival day here i have uh, selected the second option from there say religion and i press create let's say weekday is wednesday okay now my holidays are done public holidays then now press go to holiday calendar give the calendar name valid from to let's say 2019 to 2023 and i'm going to assign the relevant holidays for this one so I sort from the filter from the key. My key is K1. See, these are the holidays which I have created previously. So I select all the three and press assign public holidays. And now it's there. And I press save. So it says this is a transport request. 
okay now that part done third one factory calendar create new one and give the calendar name and a description from two year, two year and I select the holiday calendar which I have created previous so work days you can tick the number of days that you are going to work in your factory let's say I work five days per week then I select that one okay save it now go back and select that one and calendar here so the calendar factory calendar is already defined for years so I'll go inside the year 19 2019 to check the holidays I have two holidays Mahashivaratri and Hajji festival day seen calendar green two green dates are there those are the holidays two holidays Saturday Sunday anyway anyway holiday right if I go to 2020 I have three holidays Mahashivara 3 and uh, May Day and Hajji festival day so I can see only two green cell that's because the one is belongs to weekday already belongs to weekday okay let me explain one more thing how to define the special rules right factory calendar and go to change and a special rule create a special rule this is the place where you can give special holidays for your company let's say I have you have special company holiday from 3rd 4th to 7th March 2020 I'll give the description this one okay now I save it okay go to calendar select that one L1 is my calendar and display 2020 if I go down see from 4 to 456 is green from 770 is already holiday right okay in this way you can define the special rules for your calendar Thank you very much. Please subscribe my YouTube channel.